Hey guys, it's Pilar Newman and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, we're going to be discussing the three keys to successfully and consistently selling your high ticket affiliate offers or your own offers um, online so that you can effortlessly go ahead and make more income, make more money, add more profit to your pocket. So if you are brand new to this channel, what we do is we talk about how to use persuasive words, how to use strategic content marketing in order to organically sell our product or service. And in general, I speak mainly about selling high ticket affiliate offers. So if this is something that interests you, definitely go ahead, like this video, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell for whenever I put out other free trainings. Now, if you really want to dive in, um, I also have a private Facebook group where I'll post down below the link to it, where I do other free trainings that I do not post anywhere else, including here on my YouTube channel. So definitely make sure you go ahead, answer the three questions to join the group, and then you'll go ahead and start getting those free trainings and definitely make sure that you introduce yourself, okay? So I'm a bit excited today because this is the first time that I actually, you know, show myself on camera. Most of my videos that you will see online right now, it's pretty much a voiceover with me going over some of these trainings, but I wanna better connect with you. So I'm going over here and I'm putting myself out there so I can get to know you better, so that you can get to know me better. So definitely go ahead in the comments below, give me a, hey, what's up Pilar? Hey, I'm coming from over here, I'm watching from over there. Um, let me know that you're there, all right? So you have a product or service that is uh, content or a product that someone is, you know, that can benefit someone's life. And, you know, you will not be able to impact that person's life unless you're able to get out there and you're able to share your offer, right? So we have a member in my private Facebook group, for example, who has a very noble, amazing message and mission of helping families to safeguard their children against, you know, potential dangerous allergens that their child has. So there may be a parent out there, for example, that is nervous every morning that they go ahead and they send their child to school, or they're nervous when they send their ch their children to a program, an after school program, or whatever it might be. And uh, because they're nervous that their child might, you know, get in contact with this allergen that can be so dangerous for their child. And then you have someone over here, uh, in particular in my private Facebook group, who has a solution, who has some answers, who has some advice. And so it is an honorable mission and ethical for her to go ahead and get that word out there, get that content out there to that parent. So you may be in a similar position where you have a message that is greater than you that you need to get out there and you've put all your time, all your effort into it. And so it is going to be a costly program or costly content because it's taken you years and years and years. And definitely you want to make sure that as much as you're helping people, you want to make sure too that people are helping themselves and they're committed to putting, you know, your teachings um, into effect in their life, right? And most people commit with their wallets. So one of the big things that you want to make sure that you're doing is you're making sure that you're putting out content, putting out, uh, putting out a program for one, that is a high level program that is actually going to improve and change people's lives. Whether that's something as, you know, as amazing as teaching families how to safeguard their children against allergens, or if it's, you know, teaching an entrepreneur who has an amazing message to, you know, do better search engine optimization with the program that you have available. So the number one key, the first key to, these are not in any particular order, by the way, but the first key to successfully selling uh, consistently your high ticket offer online is to be able to articulate the value of your product, okay? So the value in the contents of, in the context of business is, you know, that the entrepreneur is going to gain um, a financial benefit that exceeds the purchase price of the solution to that problem. The solution to the problem would be your high ticket offer, okay? So here's an example, all right? Uh, because most people don't really understand or know how to articulate, you know, why their program is, you know, costs, you know, $5,000 
Um, you know, because maybe they don't understand that, you know, in order for an entrepreneur to get from point A to point Z, they need to show them this process, right? And so they need to be able to articulate that process with content. So in order to articulate the value of your program, I'm going to give you an example because that's the best way that I know how to teach this. Okay. Let's say you are an affiliate of an SEO, um, program out there. And let's say this SEO program costs $500, right? So the entrepreneur on the other side or the person who needs it on the other side is saying, yo, that $500 can actually be a mini weekend vacation with my family. Why would I want to take away that, right? In order to give you my $500 to purchase this SEO program that you have. So you need to put yourself in the mind of that prospect and saying, well, okay, how do I articulate the value of my product that is going to exceed what this prospect feels at the moment that they are losing in exchange for giving you that $500? So here is one simple example that you can use and that you can currently do on your on your social um, if you are selling an SEO product, right? Um, I'm, a, I'm actually going to switch it up and say a, a copywriting because I actually do, um, I, I, I prefer copywriting and so I actually have better examples for this. So let's say you're selling them a, a copywriting program, right? So they can use persuasive words in order to uh, better sell their offer. So let's say that this prospect who is actually looking at your product right now is saying, okay, well, 500 bucks, what's that going to do for me? Well, let's say this prospect has, you know, a website, they have a blog post where they sell, you know, they have a link to their $1,000, um, offer, right? So they have a program that costs a thousand dollars that they, you know, spent a lot of time to write you know, a 2000 word blog post on their website. And let's say that they get on their own a hundred uh, people. So traffic, right? They get a hundred people. Let's say, let's say it's monthly, a hundred people monthly to come to that blog post to see that $1,000 offer that they have there. Now from that $1,000 offer from the 100 people that are there, they're able to convert 1% of that traffic. So if you just do the quick math, 1%, um, and they are able to convert on that $1,000 offer, they've made $1,000, right? From that 100 people that came to their website that month. Now, let's say your program, your copywriting program, shows them how to use that same 2,000 word blog post, change it around a bit so where now they're using persuasive copy, right? Persuasive copywriting techniques, persuasive words that actually push and get people to purchase a product. And now the same traffic, hundred people now with the change in their sales copy, now they're actually converting 2% of that traffic, right? So now they're going to be making $2,000 per month with the same traffic, a hundred people that come to their website, their blog post per month. So you basically can relate your value of your $500 product now easily because now you have a measurable, tangible number that you can work with with this particular prospect, right? Here's a $500 uh, sales copywriting product, right? If you use this, you work with this, I have a, a, you know, I have a prospect or a customer, or if you don't have one at the moment, that's okay. Tons of uh, case studies out there if you just go ahead and look for it what, you know, what sales copy can do for someone, $500 now made someone an additional $1,000 per month. So they've already paid for this program. And now it's not like that prospect loses this, this skill, right? Now they can go ahead and use this for other blog posts that they write. So it's an invaluable skill that they learned and they've only had to pay $500 for this, right? So now you can say, hey, listen, I understand that you are, you know, you can use the $500 to go away with your family for a quick weekend trip. But, you know, if I show you how to make more money with this, with this product, you can take a whole month off as opposed to taking a whole, just a weekend off, right? So you need to learn how to better articulate the value of your product. It's in the same way that I go ahead and I teach people, I teach entrepreneurs um, how to go from $0 in sales online and how to get to $10,000 in sales in a matter of 12 weeks, right? Because if I can teach you with a small investment, 
how to use that investment in more than 10 times that money in a matter of 12 weeks. It's a no brainer product that you would want to buy. Okay. So, um, if you are interested in my 12 week live group coaching program, um, definitely go ahead to my Facebook group, um, and reach out to me via messenger and we'll go ahead and we'll connect and I'll get you into that group with the other entrepreneurs in that program. Okay. So, um, articulating your value is number one. I'm going to give you a little bit extra too, because, you know, I think just giving extra just simply helps you out to sell your offer better. Let's say someone still comes back to you and says, Hey, Pilar, that is still a lot of money. I get what you're saying. I don't under, yeah, uh, but whatever. I don't want to pay 500 bucks. Well, this is what I normally do. Hey, listen, you are a very educated person. Um, I know you went to a very prestigious college. Um, you know, most people that go to college, they tend to come out with, you know, 80,000, a hundred thousand, one hundred fifty thousand dollars of debt. So you spent four years in college to come out with one hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth of debt that is going to take you fifteen to twenty years or more to pay off. And that school did not guarantee you a job afterwards. But here in my program, I'm saying, give me an investment of two thousand dollars. I'm going to teach you how to make ten thousand dollars. Um, in a matter of 12 weeks. So you'll be able to make more money in a shorter period of time and you'll repay your invest investment rather quickly. Right. And then on top of that, you know, what I tell people too, is I'm, you don't have to pay for, or any kind of paid traffic. I teach you how to do all this using only your Facebook profile page and organic traffic. Okay. And of course, collecting email addresses, but we're not paying for any sort of traffic. So you're, you're pretty much just con consistently, continuously breaking down those objections. Um, generally you're doing it as you're doing your teaching and your program, but that's just another extra that I wanted to give to you today on this video for handling an objection. Okay. All right. So secret number two, um, for consistently selling high ticket offers is to be authentic, right? How much, uh, how much is authenticity worth in an online marketplace right now where everyone is being so sketchy. There's people out there who are saying, listen, that program sounds kind of cool, but there's so many times that I've been burned that I'm now skeptical to go ahead and buy your product. So authenticity is something that can't really be measured, but the weight is actually really high. You need to be able to be as authentic as possible. One simple way to do that is never Never, ever, ever, ever fall down to the depths of where these other marketers are, where they're saying, hey, I'm going to teach you how to make, how to get a million followers in one week. Um, simply go ahead and pay me 37 bucks and I'm going to show you how to do that. Because when someone buys that, what they're going to really find out is that they're, they're getting tons of fake followers that are never going to buy from them. And now you started the relationship off on a bad foot. That gives someone a bad taste as to what your other offers may be. And they'll never come back and buy from you again, right? I'm assuming you're on here, you're watching this video because it's important for you to have longevity in your business, right? I have 11 years of being an online entrepreneur. Generally, my main business um, is e-com, right? Amazon e-com seller, but I also sell my high ticket programs um, I, as well as selling affiliate offers online. How have I been able to stay online for all these years? So 11 years um, online, seven years full time, because I did hustle and do my nine to five. And then I had to do this, you know, uh, after work and on the weekends, right? So one way to be authentic is to make sure that you're not giving anyone any sketchy offers. Um, the next best thing that you can do is to do free trainings, like such as within a, a private Facebook group, such as I do, right? And automate my affiliate pay in my private Facebook group. You put out free trainings because what people are seeing is you're giving out great content for free, right? And you are, they're seeing that instead of you spending an hour going to the gym, which I'm going to do after this video, um, or spending time with your two year old nephew, you actually took time out to give someone freely your time and freely give information that is going to up their business, right? That is being as authentic as possible. I'm giving to you without asking for something in return right? So you have all these YouTube videos that you might be doing where you're putting out your free content. Or in my case, I really enjoy doing this mainly in a private Facebook group. Okay. That's another way to be authentic. 
Now I'm gonna go one extra layer into this because I think, again, I like to over deliver and I wanna make sure that you are understanding this properly um, as to you know why this all works for selling your high ticket offers. Now, most people get nervous about freely giving away their content because they're saying, hey, Pilar, if I give away all this free content, what exactly do I have left over to sell? Well, let me tell you, from personal experience, this is my answer to you, okay? There are people out there who are learning everything in bits and pieces all over the net, on YouTube, in this Facebook group, following this entrepreneur. And, you know, I don't need to tell you that you need to do content marketing in order to sell your offers, right? You may already know that. You may already know that if you're on Facebook using your profile to generate business, that you need to engage with others in order to get business, right? You don't need to know that collaborations do help you get uh, more visibility within the marketplace. You may already know this as well as your prospects may already know this. And when you're giving out your free trainings, they're getting more information, but they're not necessarily sure how to piece all this together in order to make everything work. On top of that, they are piecing information, bits and pieces from everyone all over the net. And granted, someone's system over here may very well work as amazing and as awesome as this person's system over here. But if you're taking one piece from over here, one piece from over there, one piece from over here, and you think that you can piece those together and make a successful business online, it's not going to happen. So most people learn the hard truth of doing that by doing this alone. So they will spend you know, two years piecing all these information, these pieces of information together. And they know, you know, they have the what, right? Like they know what they should be doing, but they don't have the know-how. They don't have the what, the how, right? And so the how is generally where, when people are buying your program, that's where you have your information. Okay, you have your information in the paid program. This is the how to how to piece everything together, how to do everything in a strategic manner. Plus, this is all the behind scenes stuff that no one ever sees that actually goes into implementing those strategies that skyrocket your business, okay? So for example, in my program, Zero to uh, 10K, my 12 week group, live group coaching program, you know, I teach people how to put my strategy together that I've been uh, putting together and I've been working for the past 11 years, how to do that so strategically, right? Every day I give you your action item so that you know exactly what you need to be doing every day for the next 12 weeks in order to get to $10,000 um, in sales, okay? So um, most people will still buy your programs because they still need a plan and they don't want to spend two years kind of trying to figure this out on their own at the University of the Hard Knocks going it alone. They prefer to spend, you know, $2,000 with you so that they can learn how to do this in 12 weeks and then get on with their life and find the freedom that they're looking for. Okay. So that was a huge explanation for um, being authentic in your business. And that's what's going to give you longevity. Freely give out your content. Do not expect anything in return, but because you're giving out so freely and you're being authentic, you're standing out in the crowd of terrible online marketers who are not doing superior marketing um, and people will naturally gravitate towards you and they will want to buy anything that you have to offer, okay? Let's go to secret number three and successfully selling your high ticket offer online. And this is one that I wish I had learned a long time ago. It is quantity uh, quality, excuse me, quality over quantity. Now I have a, a rather small, but very niche down, uh, Facebook group, private Facebook group that I opened up about two and a half, three months ago now. So I've had previous Facebook groups in the past. I also have a Facebook business page that I don't really use that often anymore. Um, and here's the, here's the reason why I say, uh, Jesus quality over quantity. Now, back in the day, everyone used to teach, get as many likes as you possibly can to grow your Facebook business profile. And that's exactly what I did. I gave Facebook my money so that they can go ahead and show my business page to everyone out there. And guess what? I had tons of trigger happy people liking my page, but these people were never interested in my content. So whenever I posted anything, it kind of like fell on deaf ears, which is why I don't use that page as often. Unless you wanna go ahead and do advertising, that's why you wanna have a Facebook business profile, business page. Otherwise, a Facebook uh, profile, a personal one, works 
way better than a business page. Um, but you know, the same thing goes for my Facebook group. The one I had uh, years ago, I also paid Facebook to go ahead and bring people to my group. And you know what? Every time I posted, it was like the people who actually wanted, you know, out of let's say 500 people, the 100 people that were most interested in my content never actually got to see my content because my posts weren't getting that organic reach because I had so many people in there that were simply unengaged because they were never interested in that content in the first place. So social proof works in different manners. Like you definitely need social proof for other areas, such as like if you're a landing page, you know, you want to use social proof who just signed up for your lead magnet. But when you're actually growing organically, authentically with your content marketing, um, people will come to you and that's going to give you better engagement in your group. It's also going to fine tune and niche your group to where you can have a very small group and sell tons of high ticket affiliate offers, which is what I do with a very small group, right? So it's better to have sometimes a smaller group than it is to have a group of like 5,000, 20,000 people that, you know, stop being interested in your stuff a long time ago. Okay. So I never force people to come into my group. I never force people to uh, digest my content. Um, people simply seek for, uh, seek me out or find me somewhere with my content marketing and they'll go ahead, they'll join my programs, they'll join my group, um, and this and that. Okay guys. So if you are interested in joining my live 12 week group coaching program, we are getting started very soon. I'm going to teach you how to go from $0 to $10,000 in online digital sales of either affiliate products or your own products. So if you don't have a product yet, um, don't worry about it. We'll help you uh, figure out your product, right? If you already do have a product that you're selling, that's high ticket, yet you've not been able to get that kind of traction that you wanted, then this is going to be the program for you. Okay. We're going to do it in a live group coaching manner. You will be put into a separate, uh, private Facebook group. Once you pay for it, if you want it, definitely go ahead and reach out to me, um, into, in my group, um, comment that you want to get into the program. Um, I'll put the link down below for my private Facebook group. And, um, we're going to get started with that program. All you need is your Facebook a personal profile, um, and you need a lot of de dedication and you need, um, kind of that willpower, but I will show you all the steps and I'll be there with you along the way to get to your 10 K per month. Okay. So guys, those are the three keys to successfully selling your high ticket offers online. If you've enjoyed this video, definitely go ahead, give me a like, give me a comment, and I look forward in giving you more information on my channel. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.